Jason Hollis Farms this morning. Move y'all just a little bit. As y'all can see, we got the brown tree cutter hooked up to the John Deere 6330. Uh, I got a project that I got to do over in Mississippi before long, and it's kind of open where I got to use the brown tree cutter, so we wanted to try it with this cab tractor. So I'm gonna experiment here. Where we're working on today, we're still on the outside of the fence. This used to be a field, so it's not gonna be too bad. It's gonna take me a little while to get used to this big of a tractor working in these tight spots, but I'm just gonna kinda go slow and work in here and make sure everything's gonna work right. The, the, the tree cutter seems kinda small on this big tractor, so I'm not gonna be able to get real tight. Like with the, uh, the uh, other tractor, but I think we'll be fine. So we're just gonna play with it a little bit, but at least this will be the first time I get to talk to y'all while I'm using the brown tree cutter. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn y'all around just a second and I'm gonna back up and make me a lane through this gate and give us a little working room. All right, what I'm gonna do now is, like I said, I'm gonna make me a lane, give us a little working room. Uh, through this gate. It's gonna take me just a minute to get used to everything. All right, y'all, I got me a little path cleared out, got the gate closed. I can tell y'all right now, it's a lot different than the 5065, just cause it's so big to, to move around, but get me some working area here where I can, ain't gotta worry about hitting stuff. Oh. One thing about it, it's sure cool in here. It gets hot down in this bottom on that 5065. We're gonna just take our time. thing I'm working on right now is getting my height adjusted. It's a little little different than the way you operate it in the 65. Pretty good progress. Ain't quite used to everything yet, but it's gonna take a while. Turning around like I am all the time. This tractor's sure a lot cooler in here, but it's not as comfortable as the uh, 5065 doing this. I was gonna hook it to the 5101, but you always needing the loader sometime if something doesn't fall just right. So that's why we decided to put it on the 6330 here and because you always need, I've already used the, the loader a little bit. It's going to be all right. We just got to take our time, try not to tear up anything.
sure. I think I'm faster with the 5065. I think it's probably due to being able to see better and just get around a little better. But it is pretty cool in there. It's gonna be perfect for the job that we got to do over in Mississippi. Because it's a lot more open what we gotta do over there. Keeps 
pretty wet right here. This tractor's this thing heavy. I'll be honest with you. I know it's cool and nice in here, but I like working with this tree cutter better with the uh, 5065. You can just you can see better and you can move around better. This old tractor's trying to run hot on me. I'm gonna have to let it cool off a little bit. I just think I think day in and day out the 5065 open tractor is better because you can see better, you can move around better. If you need to get something off the fence, you can turn around a lot quicker with the loader and all and get it. But not too bad. I mean, it's cool in here. I'm going to cut just a little bit more that way, kind of some smaller stuff. I think it'll be easy. Then we're going to probably get out of here with this thing and probably hook it back up to the 5065. Alright y'all, we got a little bit more done with the brown tree cutter today and the John Deere 6330. Like I said, that thing's awful big. And where we're working, it's kind of tight. And I don't know, I'm happier with the 5065. It's pretty cool in there, but sometimes that ain't always the best way. So I'm probably, even to go back and do the project we got to do in Mississippi, I'm probably going to hook it back to the 5065 and just tough it out in the heat we can handle it if y'all like our stuff subscribe to us hollis farms hats t-shirts and stickers hollisfarms.com appreciate y'all watching out of here <laughs>